Welcome back to the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD. And I thought today was going to be the last episode of this playthrough, but I was wrong. It turns out we have a little bit left to do. Not a ton, but I do believe that we have enough things left to where we're probably still not going to be able to get to Radagon and the Elden Beast in this episode, but I'm fine with that. So I'm here in Landell Capital of Ash, and what I've done is I've actually worked here at the Forbidden Lands, and I have worked my way backwards into the level, because where we are right now is not accessible from the other side. So if we were to go here, like where this big gate is, we would not be able to make our way through. It's kind of shut off and blocked. We can't actually get over there. All the graces that we have here, as a matter of fact, are the uh, Forsake, not Forsake, not the... They're subterranean shunning ground graces, so we can't actually access this part of the city. That is off limits. For now, we are going to be able to get back up in here, like where the Queen's Chamber and stuff is, because we have to get up here to fight the boss. We have to get up to the Elden Tree, to the Erd Tree again, so we can fight Godfrey, and we're also going to have an interesting friend waiting for us on the way there. Should be a lot of fun. But the reason I'm here is particularly for this skulking creature that has an ill-favored look. This is one of the remaining the alterated tree spirits and i believe there's two of them but to my recollection this is the first one and then i'm pretty sure there's a second one that spawns in another spot a little further out possibly so we're gonna take care of this guy and i think i would like to have a little bit of fun while i do it so let's do this oh yeah so what we will do is we will increase our damage. There we go. I don't think we need to increase our range. I'm pretty sure we're good on that. So he kind of moves around a lot. But I think we got him. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, come on. All right, man. You want to come right up to me? <laughs> that did almost a thousand damage. Interesting. I love these explosive great bolts. They're fantastic. Okay, lightning does not do as well to him. I wonder how much our heapy my blast will do. Okay, it definitely does more. That's kind of the answer then. Okay, we'll buff up and we'll just blast him then. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Ooh, if he gets right up on the wall, I wonder if... Uh... Ah, I don't have it equipped. I was going to try... Y'all know what I'm thinking. I was going to try to use... Uh... What you call it? Um... Burno Flame. That would have been real nice. Alright. Yeah, that's doing a ton of damage. If he's right up against the wall, I wonder if this will hit him. Oh! It did, and it did quite a lot. Good lord. This is such a good incantation, man. Okay. It missed him a lot that time, but... There it goes. <laughs> oh, I'm out. I can't even cast it anything with the remainder that I have left. Can't even throw a rock. That's okay. Alright. No, speaking of rocks, that rock has good range. I bet we can hit him. No, not quite. Yes! <laughs> have a rock! <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Oh, damn. We can fast roll with the jar cannon? That's hilarious. Okay, back to the sword we go, and cannot use Torrent here. So you'll notice all the enemies are gone. I'm a terrible host, you probably can't see. All the enemies are gone, man. There would be a Perfumer and quite a few Misbegotten here, but they are not. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's any new items that spawn here. I don't think there are. That really wouldn't make any sense, but I'm going to check anyway, because i just like to be sure. I do know that out where that ulcerated tree spirit is, there's new items. But I'm trying to I'm trying to remember where the other one spawns at. I think he's a little further out there. So we're gonna have to go check. 
But let's look through here first. I know there's this item over here. That... Yep, it's here. Had a feeling. Alright, so let's do our thing. Really do not want to tangle with that guy. Alright, you. Oh, that's right. I didn't equip it. Let's put it back on. We're going to have to remember to change our talisman, too. Really? Hold on. There it is. Okay, our effective range is not very good. So let's actually see what we can do about that, too. Yeah! How did that miss? Well, I should be able to just shoot him while locking on if we increase our range. Yep. Oh, wow. That did better than the explosive bolt? That was strange. Well, let's see if we can get him in the face. Oh, yeah. I bought quite a few of these explosive bolts, by the way. I went to that merchant off screen. And I also found the very last seedbed curse as well. So. Okay. I'm going to conserve my MP a little bit. And we're just going to employ the jar cannon for this part. So we can have more FP. How am I missing? Is it just because he's moving? It is, isn't it? Yep. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna have to free aim this. Oh my goodness. Right in the face. That was super satisfying. Damn. Almost. I probably can't hit him if I... Yep. I knew that was going to happen, so I do have to be on the ledge. That's fine. Damn it. It's just taking forever because my aim is terrible. These bolts are doing quite well, though, for something like him that has so much damn health. It's hitting quite hard, except the explosive bolts. They're not doing as well as I thought they would. Yeah, like the lightning ones are just doing better. Whoa, whoa, what, what? Okay, that time it did way better than the lightning. What? Maybe his hitbox is just really strange and I don't get it. Then turn around. There we go. What? I still missed. There we go. All right. He's almost done for. What? He just, like, dodged that. There we go. As soon as I run out of these damn bolts, I will go back to traditional means of attack. There we go. So now... We're out there with this guy, and we're going to finish him off. Oh, shit. Eat this! Ah. Nice try. Fire bad. They are worth so much more than 18,000-ish of those runes. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to my... The stuff that matters. Okay. And then it would not surprise me if there was a third one. So let's just be on our toes, shall we? Let's be on the lookout for the shaking of the earth and the spawning of the giant ulcerated worms. Oh, wait a minute. He better not have needed to attack this. If they just pulled a Scorpionus... 
What was her name? Scorpioness Najka or something like that? Oh, God. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. Had a feeling. I had a feeling that the last one was not the last one. That the last one was not the last one. I bet he can get me up here. This is an incredibly stupid idea. I'm just calling it right now. You guys probably should not do this. Yeah. Oh, my. That's irritating. But okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to be able to hit him with the rock. You got to aim high with the rock. Oh, God. Except he's going to hear me. Yeah! He can probably hit me. Yep. Nope. Oh, God. Woo! All right, you. All right. I'm going to get you with the frenzy. How about that? Oh, the damage. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love this. That's some. Um, oh, God. How did I miss him? Come here. That literally would have been the coolest finish in the history of the game. Like, if I had just murked him with that final plunge attack, that would have been friggin' awesome. Alright, that's three. There certainly can't be any more than that, right? No, that's not me provoking the game either. Erd Tree's Favor 2. There we go. And the problem is, these are just not very good. I'm pretty sure they're percentage-based, but this will take me... Okay... So it'll take my equip load from 92.3 to 95, so that's almost three full units. And then from 17, from 1788 to 1859, and it'll raise my stamina, looks like 18 points-ish, 16 points. Um, okay, yeah, that's really not that great. I mean, if you're trying to get every last inch of health and stamina you possibly can, like even with the seals and everything, that might be helpful for your cause. But I don't know. I feel like those those talismans are, are just a little bit watered down, and I don't think they're as effective as others. Okay. And then it looks like there's nothing out here. All right. I think we finished this area. Got rid of these ulcerated tree spirits. Now what we need to do is I need to go to the Dung Eater. But first, I want to see if we can go backwards into Landell. If we can even get through this gate over here. I'm pretty sure it's going to stop us. But we got to try anyway. Oh, nope. It is definitely blocked. Okay. Yeah, there's no getting through here. Okay. <laughs> Worth trying. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the Dung Eater, and then we will deliver this very last seedbed curse. That thing was hard to find, man. I had to go, I had to, go to the wiki and look for it. Because I got tired of just running past that same spot over and over again trying to find it. All right. Let's go get him. Shit Eater Steve, the time has come. And then you are going to do the... Here we go. go. Get me up this damn ladder. And then we'll give him the last seedbed curse. He should give us the curse... The Cursed Rune, or whatever it's called, for his ending. Sit 
upon them! A curse blessing swore! All right, check that out, man. Let's have a look, see. Wow. <laughs> that looks pretty rough. It's like half sun, half moon ish looking. Mending rune of the fell curse. And then. Can't really do anything new with him. So let's go back to the round table hold and let's see if his phantom is here. I think getting the rune from him, I'm pretty sure, is how you get his armor. I think, if you complete his quest line. No, he's not here. Okay. Fine with me. Yeah, I know that... I think that's how you get his armor. Which is, like, really disgusting. Looks like it's covered in STDs. I... You have anything new to say? Ooh! Oh, so it wasn't just me this happened to. To think he'd forget who you were as well. I knew he'd burn himself out. Old Hugh, I think we could talk him into leaving the round table hold now, but maybe it's better that we don't. It's only proper that we respect his choice to stay. I'll remain with Hugh. He made me who I am today. I'd like to return the kindness in whatever small way I can. Please. Become Elden Lord. Hugh was always saying that you were a lord to him. So slay her with the weapons he smithed. Slay the god Marika, who cursed us all. Yeah, you can talk about a curse, man. Wait till you see what shit eater Steve wants to do to this place. <laughs> Okay, no, and then let's go down here for a second. I don't, there's no reason Nephili or anybody would come back down here, but all right. Speaking of, let's just go see if there's anything going on with them. We'll go to Fort Height right here. Yep. Oops. This is where they're supposed to go, at least. So I'm just going to brush up on a couple NPC quest lines. I cannot believe I messed up with Bach. I knew that you were supposed to do something with that goofy carving, but... I guess I did it wrong. Like, I've never actually done his quest correctly. I didn't know the steps for it. But whatever. We're just gonna have to... We're gonna have to see if these clowns are up in here. But they're still demi-humans. Hey, I'm home! <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's see what you can do. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what was that? Looks like he was vaping. Right. It's like my favorite part of coming to visit here, man. I just massacre this place every time. Oh, they are not here yet. Alright. Suppose that's okay. They've gone in here. No, nothing in here. All right, back to the boss room we go. Uh, let's see. Yep, they're still there. All right. Let's see if they have anything new to say. And then once we're done brushing up on these quest lines, what we're going to do is we're going to go fight Placidusax, big boy dragon. He is tough, man. That is a tough fight. But I think we can do it. Farewell, fellow. I will remain at your guidance, surely, Lyle. For the okay. time being, at which time I'm raising my hope it. All right. Ah, oh, well then. Does he have anything new? No? Okay, fine with me. All right. So, what other NPCs do we have to deal with? Um, hmm... 
I can't think of anything off the top of my head. We've done Dung Eater. He's finished. Everybody should be done, man. Everybody should be fine. Oh, wait a minute. We killed Bernal. Let's go see if... Uh, let's go see if anything pops up in that chair he sits in. I know that he leaves that his Y-hander there, right? Like, that thing is... That thing's there. I don't... I don't see any reason he would drop anything, but it's just something to do. It's just something to check real quick. Oh. What is this? Is that a talisman? Like a shabriri as well? Increases damage to- What? Disturbing likeness of a woman whose skin was flayed. She smiles with a serene tenderness. Increases damage taken. It is said that this woman named... Datacar indulged in every form of adultery and wicked pleasure imaginable, giving birth to a myriad of grotesque children. Wow, my kind of woman. Um, so he doesn't, he doesn't have anything new. It's Assassin's Gambit. Assassin's Gambit skill that masks the user's presence at the cost of self-inflicted wound. Grants near invis invisibility and silences footsteps. That's kind of cool. can totally see that being useful in a lot of areas of the game if you don't want to waste a talisman or if you don't want to waste an incantation slot with uh assassin's approach um wow that's crazy man it increases damage taken so if you were to do a whole challenge run through the game with these two where you are constantly the point of aggression and you are constantly taking more damage like that'd be an interesting run man fully naked with that jeez Okay, so I guess we're going to head back to to go fight Placidusax. And this is a particularly tough fight, man. I don't uh I don't know what to expect with this because he's got a lot of health and he is difficult, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um I think that Black Blade is going to be useful in some areas of the game going forward before the boss, but not many, so we probably don't really need that, but this is going to be my bread and butter against Placidus Axe. This is going to absolutely tear him apart. You'll see what I mean. Um, we for sure are going to want as much lightning defense as we can get, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fire charm off actually going to raise my lightning attack and then this we're not really going to need the extra damage for taker's flame i don't think so what i'll do so i will actually do this i'm going to get that i need that damage absorption man that's what i need um yeah i think he's down this way okay trying to remember where he is um i think we got beast men on the way to him yep got this guy right here i'm not gonna backstab him i'm actually gonna do this there we go this one backstab will not do it i think not y'all survived that it's kind of insane Oh, come on. There we go. Take that. Got hit, though. Bogus. Alright, where is he? Oh. Well, I need help. There we go. <laughs> I think it's, like, right here? Okay, I can see the path to it, but there's a very special spot you got to drop down. It's right here, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, you got to be careful getting down to this guy. I don't think there's any items on the way down to him. Like, I know there's, there's probably an item or something like down here near the boss fight but i don't think there's any on the path no okay no items works for me okay and this is this is a really weird boss fight man you gotta lay down in this spot it's 
kind of strange. Oh, I don't have Golden Vow equipped, I don't think. Or maybe I do. Let me check. I'm going to need that for that extra lightning damage. Because that's what I'm going to use once I get up in his face. I'm just going to blast him with Ancient Dragon uh, Lightning Strike. And it is going to be devastating. Crazy, man. We're going back in time. This is kind of like uh, Dark Souls 2, Giant's Memory stuff. Uh, speaking of which, I'm thinking that... I think one of the games that's probably going to replace Elden Ring and Demon Souls is... I think I want to give Scholar of the First Sin the chance it never got from me. Because I still haven't actually played through that game in its entirety. I think I made it like through some parts of the Forest of Fallen Giants. And uh, that's it. I have not made it very far into Scholar of the First Sin. Like, I don't even think I made it to the first fight with the Pursuer. So, well, okay. His first, like, actual fight where he gets dropped by the bird and attacks you on that rooftop, yeah, I made it to that, and then he waxed me because I wasn't ready for him. But his, like, legit boss fight through the Fog Gate where the Ballista and stuff are on that cliffside, or the not the cliffside, the, the giant, uh, that giant ledge on that castle, I've not actually done that. So... I'm pretty early in Scholar, but I kind of want to play it just to, like, give it the chance it deserves. Like, all the DLC and everything. I think that'd be a pretty wicked playthrough. You guys let me know what you think about that. Stark Souls 2 has always been kind of like the... Kind of like the bastard stepchild of the Dark Souls. And, uh... For good reason, because it's very clunky and awkward and... Doesn't play as tight or as fun as the other Souls games, but... Alright, here we go. Do I have Golden Vow? I do not. So this is going to suck. Good to know. Um, I'm glad he's not immediately attacking me because... I, don't know, I just want to consume that. I don't think there's any throwing items that I want to use against this guy. I can use a summon. I can get Tishin here. Um, Alright, fuck it. Let's... Uh, strong meat? Let's get ready to blast him. Come on, Tish, let's go. Here goes nothing. I think my flask has fire damage on it, which is not good. I don't want to do that, but... Be better with lightning damage on it. Ooh! I can do that too, man. You want to see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get him. Oh. Give me that eyeball, dude. Mmm. And we'll get this one more time. He's probably going to hit me, though. Nope, he's just going to die. That's funny. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? This, this is like... Teach, did he even get a hit on him? I don't even, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was, I was completely distracted by the absurd freaking damage of Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike like this. And I mean, just to put things into perspective for you, I'm, okay, so I'm using a plus 10 Frenzied Flame Seal, right? Like, this thing is, is obviously disgusting. It's got a triple C scaling and then a B scaling. Anything, regardless of how high the letters are for the scaling, or, or low, rather, as it works in a Souls game, the lower the letter, the better the scaling, unless it's an S. Kind of like how you're graded in public school. But um, it has relatively high scaling in three categories it's got a c in strength intelligence and dexterity but then it has a high scaling in faith it's got a b now regardless of how good the letters are anything that has a quadruple scaling is going to hit like a truck so this thing is not necessarily a slouch when it comes to talismans it's very good with a 262 scaling on it. But this is not even the correct talisman to get the best damage with that spell. So like, and I'm not min-maxing either. I didn't cast Golden Vow or anything. I only have one thing helping me with that ability. And it was this and this. Okay, so two things. I have greatly raises potency of incantations and then raise my lightning attack. Those are the only two things helping me. And those are not as crazy as like, you know, the jellyfish shield or Golden Vow. Like these combined don't do as much as those would together. So we're not even 
doing the and the seal too i'm also not using the seal that will give us the best damage with the dragon communion not dragon that's not a dragon communion spell i don't think what's it called i think those are just called like ancient dragon spells or something um yeah, Ancient Dragon Cult. So I don't even have the Talisman that Im that boosts your Ancient Dragon Cult spells either. So, like, we could do way, way more freaking damage if we truly wanted to. But even without doing that, we just melted his ass completely. That's hilarious. He didn't even get to do his Flying Glaive attack. That's really funny to me. Because normally, if he does that attack, that's when, like... That's when the, the fight officially becomes challenging. Like, once he's flying through the air swinging that glaive at you what where did she go did she sit back down okay i see all right works for me more drama with these two oops no okay god y'all need to just get it over with just marry her hugh just get it done man she loves you she's committed to you she's decided she will stay with you Okay, so this guy. Two different swords. There's the Dragon King's Cragblade. This is a heavy thrusting sword. It is similar to the Godskin uh, Peeler? No, the Peeler is the Twin Blade, isn't it? Yeah. What's the heavy thrusting sword called? The Godskin what? I don't remember. Anyway, um, or like the Great Epe. So that's what it is. It is a heavy thrusting sword, and it's got thundercloud form. Temporarily transform into a red thundercloud and fly through the air, then plunge down with a lightning-infused blade. Hold to increase the reach of the thundercloud form. Super cool. It is a very cool-looking attack. The problem is it has limited uses. I don't think it hits incredibly hard, but this thing does lightning damage. It's split between physical and lightning, and it starts with relatively high base damage. It's almost 100, and then you have just about 60 lightning damage. So if you keep upgrading this thing, I've had some success with it. It hits pretty hard, and I really like the special attack on it, but the problem is it's a little bit slow and, and kind of weird. I don't know. This... Placidus X is ruined. Spews golden breath of Dragon Lord Placidus X. It needs 36 faith, and it very much looks like some King King Gitter of shit. It's crazy. Uh, power gleaned from the remembrance of Dragon Lord Placidus X. Transforms caster into Dragon Lord to spew golden breath from above. This incantation can be cast while jumping. These are the dying whales of the Dragon Lord who once dwelled eternally beyond time. This is a very, very cool attack. Hence, it needs three slots now it is pretty much identical to what you would do with one of the dragon um communion incantations like you basically turn into like a dragon head and then you spew some kind of crazy dragon breath but the thing is it sweeps across an area uh i don't really know what the damage is i'm pretty sure it's probably holy from what i can tell but i don't know it's pretty cool um I kind of want to go with this thing, but we can always duplicate the spell if we need to. I'm going to go with this for now, and then let's see if we can get any new equipment with the people that we've murdered. No, it doesn't look like it. Fine with me. So let me go equip that just so I can show it off. I just want to like give you guys a little bit of theatrical entertainment here. So that, and then we will get rid of of that sorry sorry stone of guronk love you Oop. don't want to do that so let's do this let's equip this shit i'm gonna show you guys right here in the round table hold what it do trust me when i say it be dumb <laughs> watch this shit <laughs> Yeah, that shit's insane, man. It don't mess around, like, especially if you free aim it. Like, he sweeps to the side, and then to the side, and then up. If you are in front of a lot of people, it is good. And this is me fully charging it, too. I'm just holding the button down. It's strong, bro. Like, I kind of want to go find a large group of enemies to test it out on, and I think I know exactly where I want to go. Um, this. 
Let's go test it out on all these Albanarics. <laughs> Poor bastards. <laughs> Here we go. Well. Okay, kind of got him. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got an area of effect and everything. Yeah, it it hits quite hard. It's it's no joke. Oh. And I mean, if you lock on with it, it's... Oh. But the thing is, just the area of effect attack, like just activating it, is a set chance to do crazy damage. That's ridiculous. It's okay, yeah. It does a lot of freaking damage. Um, let's actually do this. We're going to go to the Weeping Peninsula. And we're going to... Wait, no, we already calmed one down, didn't we? I think out in the snowfield. Yeah, where's Castle Soul, man? Didn't we... Yeah, right here. This one out here should be calm. Unless it's the one by the Deathbird. Yes, that one is not calm at all. Okay, where is the Deathbird one? I think it's uh, out here, right? Yeah. The, apost the apostate derelict. That's where the calm one is that we actually got to stop freaking out. So let's go to him. Oh, hi, jellyfish. Um, should be down here, right? I'm 100% I'm certain that that's where it was. Because the death bird. Should have been down here. Yes, here he is. Good, good, good. <laughs> Where was I looking? God. So let's clone his remembrance. And we'll go get the... We'll go get that spear too. Or the heavy thrusting sword. Just to see what we can do. Because I really like that weapon. Can I open these? Nope. All right, let's clone this guy. Oops. Now we will go back to the round table hole and we will make it. Then I'll show you that weapon art too because it's wicked. I really wish you could duplicate it and take the same thing again because I would power stands blasphemous blades. You best believe. All right. So let me go down here. And it looks cool, too. I mean, just look at it. It literally looks like an ancient dragon somber smithing stone <laughs> in your hand. Pretty crazy. So it's got the thrust moveset, right? And it's not... It's not any different than the others. Like, I mean, it's 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 got a very, like, normal moveset. But, that weapon art on it. That's pretty cool, man. Like, it... So you can either just disappear for a second, or you can kind of like... Yeah. Pretty damn cool. Our attack with this thing is 230, which is good for something that's unupgraded. Because, I mean, it's got stuff that scales with our stats, man. You need 37 decks to use this thing. That is not... A puny amount. Like, that's that's a good amount of decks to commit to something that's basically almost as much as the Bolt of Grand Six. So, who knows? I might actually end up using this thing. But it's a cool weapon. I like it. So now what we're going to do is we have some unfinished business. Oops. I did not mean to just teleport back to the round table hold again. Uh, we have unfinished business out here at the Beast Sanctum. 
Some of you know exactly what I'm referring to. We're gonna go beat this gargoyle because he's a bitch. Let's see what we can do about this, huh? Oh, man. I wonder if we can use this against him. Okay. Didn't do very well. Oh, God. I got knocked out of it, too. <laughs> Ooh! Nice try, man. And get back up here. Yeah! Give me my health back. Come here, bitch. Ooh! Whoa, I was blocking. What was that? Give me my bubble and my extra fire damage. I think that's what I have right now on here. Alright, what are we in axe mode? Alright. Come here, bitch. Okay. Tish, get him. Wow, Tish is not getting him. Tish is getting pretty messed up. Ugh. Come here, bitch. How did I miss? Come here, you motherfucker. Here we go. Oh! Oh, God, that combo! No, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, I'm dumb. Come here. Let's see what we can do. It's raining. We'll take more damage from this. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't like that. Cool. And then we get both of the super badass versions of that sword. Gargoyle's Black Blade scales with strength and faith more than anything else. And it has a very similar attack to our Blasphemous Flame. It has Corpse Wax Cutter. does pure holy damage. It does not have the range of Taker's Flame. Like, it'll only go about as half as far. And instead of doing fire, it does holy damage. And it won't heal you either. But I don't think it'll do... I don't think it'll do, like, what the... The black blade does though like it does not have the same property as this where it like robs you of your max health that would be kind of cool but it does not and then we also have this same thing but this has spinning slash and this is the same thing as the sword 100 percent it's got the same exact scaling same exact damage type it's a really cool weapon but uh i think they one weighs 10 and one weighs 12 i'm pretty sure 11.5 and 12 okay so there's a half unit difference between them they do the same kind of damage, but the weapon art on the sword is obviously cooler. It's like a red, holy damage, wind scar type deal. But uh, they require strength and a lot of it. Like that one needs 26. This one needs 26, but... Or, sorry. This one needs 18, but they, they need faith too. You need 22 faith for this thing. So we could technically use this, but it would not benefit us at all because it has higher strength scaling. Um, similar to this, but we get way better damage output with this than we would this. So... All right, and then we have a lot of runes on us, so I think we should level up just a bit. All right. Why not? More health. We're going to need it. Okay, he does not respond. All right, where else do we have unfinished business on here? I think it might be time to start moving forward in the capital. Yeah, I think it's time. Lame up capital of Ash. Let's do that. Wait, who's this NPC we have out here? In... Or that was... Dung Eater? What? He's alive? Hold on. He should not still be there if he's... Because... If he's dead, his icon would disappear. That means he's not dead. That means we need to go back to him. Hold on. A little inter intermittent NPC questing. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just going to keep saying it every time. I'm really glad that these hands don't come back. Like, can you imagine making it this far and having to fight through those dumb hands every single time? That would be the worst. Is he alive? There we go. Got his omen armor. Okay. Um, oh, now his icon is gone. Yep. Okay. Now we can go do our thing. His armor is super weird and bulky and heavy. 23.1 units it weighs. That's even more than Lionel's armor, even though it's slightly less bulky. Malformed armor resembling an omen with its horns cut off. Worn by the Dung Eater, the heavy sun-shaped medallion represents both the guidance he once saw and the rings to which it will one day lead. And the ring to which it will one day lead. Pretty cool. And it's got good defense, man. It's got good resistances to just about everything. If you have the equip load to be able to wear this, it's one of the best armors you can wear in PvP. I can tell you that for a fact. Um, mixing his armor pieces with different stuff is totally smart. If you want damage absorption. It looks really stupid, but I don't think people invade with the intention of looking appealing to their opponent. I'm pretty sure you just want to be able to beat your opponent. <laughs> is what it really comes down to. Or for some people like me, it's not even so much about winning. It's more about having fun with your build. Because you, you go through all the trouble of beating the game and painstakingly crushing all these bosses to get the materials that you need and all that stuff to upgrade your equipment and whatnot. And then when you invade, I hear something. Is there another enemy I'm not aware of that's existing up here? I'm thinking there might be. Let's go investigate. I hear footsteps. I don't know who it would be. Is it another gargoyle, maybe? Hold on. What's down here? And why should we go? Oh, this is where... Okay. So this is... And this is an actual bridge now. Interesting how that conveniently fell that way. This is where Gold Mask should be. It's where his set should be, at least. We probably won't get his rune, I don't think, because I didn't do his quest line correctly. You must go. I kind of want to see how well this will do against the flower. Okay. Probably less than Taker's Flame, I bet. Okay, yeah, Taker's Flame is st straight up good. Ain't nobody got time for that bullshit. Okay. Oh, wow, we somehow canceled that attack. I thought once they start casting that, you are locked in for good. Like, stuff is coming out of the sky no matter what. Oh, here he is, and we do get his rune. Okay, interesting. Receive Mending Rune. The perfect order. Wow. So, what's supposed to happen here? Do I do I go back here, come back to him again, and probably can get his stuff, I would imagine? Or no, wait. I know what's supposed to happen now. Hold on. Let's rest. So that's technically what resets something. Now his stuff is going to be out here in the plateau. Aha. All right. Let's go. So now we can get Gold Mask's gear. Let's look at both these runes as a matter of fact, though. Let's just see what we're dealing with here, shall we? I think they're supposed to be here in these items, wouldn't they? Yep, here we go. Rune discovered by the noble Gold Mask. Used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. A rune of transcendental ideology, which will attempt to perfect the Golden Order. 
the current imperfection of the Golden Order, or instability of ideology, can be blamed upon the fickleness of the gods no better than men. That is, the fly in the ointment. And then this is the Many Rune of Death, the Prince of Death, rather. We get this from Fia. And we already, we already know about this one. And then we got this one. Loathsome Rune, gestated by the Dung Eater. Used to restore the fractured Elden Ring. Okay. The reviled curse will last eternally. And the world's children, grandchildren, and every generation hence will be its puzzles. And order is defiled entirely. Defilement is defilement no more. And for every curse, a cursed blessing. Good lord. Oh, I don't think I use these. We need to go do these too. Um, all right, let's do this though while we're here. Let's go get Gold Mask's armor and then we will go chase down those runes. And from what I understand, his stuff should be down like at the bottom here somewhere. So let's... Man, something keeps dying every single time I run through here. Like this happened last time we ran through here. Something died exactly right there. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Stay where you are, pooch. I got no time for you. Hey, Hughes. Fight the good fight, man. Keep up the good work. Uh, okay, where was I supposed to jump down? Like right here somewhere? We already got that carriage, didn't we? We for sure did. Okay. Um, I don't know where we were supposed to drop down. Okay, I thought that dog was about to just come flying into me. All right, yeah, let's let's jump down. Let's go find this. Uh, let's go find this set. It should be somewhere down here, I think. But where? There's the bridge. I really dislike these enemies. I think they're incredibly stupid. What are these yellow things in the water? Oh, fireflies. Okay, interesting. Oh man, everything in here... Everything in here has a poor attitude. Okay, let's look over here somewhere. I could have swore his armor was supposed to be somewhere around here near the base of these bridges. Because this is where you find him the first time. It would make sense that his stuff would be down here somewhere. I'm not going to be mad if it's not. I'm not, not going to spend the whole episode looking for it either. Because I don't care about getting his armor. I think it's pretty stupid. Doesn't look very good. Doesn't do anything for us. This looks like a fake rock. Um, maybe it could be up here. Wow. Torrent, you are seriously insane. You know that? Oh, there it is. I bet that's it. Hold on. This is dangerous. Yeah, there it is. All right. The Radiant Gold Mask. Let's take a look. Where are you? Okay. Yeah. It doesn't, uh... Hold on. Strengthens Golden Order incantations. It doesn't have a stat difference, though. To you who seek to shine as I do, wear it well. Strange. Yeah. Golden Order incantations, which we don't really use. Fine with me. All right. So back to the capital we go. We need to go find the source of that stomping because... It's bothering me. I have to know what that is. <laughs> and then I'm guessing since this officially kind of marks... Can't use torrent here, right? Nope. This officially kind of marks the end. 
the end of the end. Um, the only thing we're really going to have left to do now is after I find the source of the stomping and figure out what it is and eradicate it from my world, which I intend to set on fire, um, we're just going to have Godfrey, well, we have Gideon, we have to kick his ass, but we're just going to have Gideon, Godfrey, Radagon, Elden Beast, that's it, man, it's going to be everything, that's every single boss in the game. You guys will let me know if it's not, though. Y'all have been absolutely fucking terrific about that this entire playthrough. I'm really excited about it. It has been an honor. So we shouldn't be able to go any further. There shouldn't be any reason to, to go over there, right? It should dead end. I want to prove myself wrong. I would feel better that way. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, the rest of his armor. The rags. Okay. And then dead end, I would think. Yep. Okay. So let's run back over. I'm actually glad I came back over here, because we got rid of the rags. Very interesting. Why, though? What is with them? Worn rags that just barely cover the body. Lord Goldmask felt no draw to the vain excess of clothing. What use is finery to one who seeks greater brilliance? I don't know, dude. Man. No way. No way. This looks great. This, what we're wearing right now, like this drip is crazy good. Like the Drake armor and then the Briar set. Briar Drake has got to be my favorite armor combination in the game so far, as far as fashion goes. Um... I very much was enjoying our demon girl look. Like, that was also super badass, and I really liked it. But the Briar Dragon, or the Briar Drake, just takes it, man. It's so good. So let's do this. Let's, uh... I don't think there's any reason to get up on these roofs. But we will anyway. Just to make sure. Is there anything back through here? They would so hide an item in here. But you know what else they would do? They would also make you want to run through here to find it? Just to take that from you and not put anything here. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the ladder. Okay, whatever. I'm not mad. Because that's what they would want. And I'm not going to let them win. Okay, so let's do some parkour. Get across these these roofs just to see if there's anything that we can get. I don't think there is. Oh wow, okay. Hey. Alright. What else do we got? We can see everything from up here. Be a good way to figure out if we're missing something. Okay, there's no getting up on that, it doesn't look like. I mean, maybe we could if we did this. Thank you! Oh wow. <laughs> Is there anything else? Okay. Doesn't look like it. We can get over here though, so why wouldn't we? There's nothing? Okay. All right. I'm glad we did that. That was a really badass rune item, man. Nice little boost. Hero rune 4, I think it's worth like 50k or something like that, or something crazy. A lot. Alright, let's go up these steps. Let's explore the source of the stomping. I want to know who's stomping around in my castle. up there is there is there a point to jumping over there I really don't think there is but I'm gonna do it anyway no nope. okay would have been cool 
But I'm not complaining. I'm not mad. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Ooh, maybe we can see what's doing the stomping if we look. I see the flower that we destroyed, but... I don't hear it anymore. That means it's got to be closer down that way. It's got to be. What if we... Hold on. No, okay. We've already... Never mind. Alright, this is where Gideon is going to be. Um... Yep, there he is. So, I'm trying to find out where that stomping was coming from, man. Like, what? Was it just another gargoyle, or what was going on with that? Highly doubt I can drop onto that roof. It's probably going to kill us. It's out of bounds, I bet. Okay, there's the flower. And there's nothing up that way. Well, what the heck, man? How about over here? I guarantee it's going to kill me if I drop down right there. That's probably out of bounds. So... What? Okay, hold on. Let's... Let's go back down. Hold on. I'm going to head... I'm going to head back over to where the gargoyle was. The first one that we fought that was walking around out there. I mean, unless he responds. Like, I don't... I don't know if that's the case either. So, let's see. Hang on just a second. Can I make this jump? I bet I can. Here we go! Okay... Where's the stamping? Where is it? Why could I hear it before, but I cannot now? Oh, there it is. Yep, it is him. He just responds is all it is. Okay, that's lame. Okay. So I think that's about it. Yep, all we have left is uh, we have Sir Gideon, the all-blowing, and then Godfrey, Radagon, Elden Lord, or Elden Beast. I got something for your ass, Gideon. Before the Elden Ring, to become Elden Lord, what a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas, none shall take the throne. Queen Marika has high hopes for us, that we continue to struggle unto eternity. Uh! Why didn't that work? Oh, I wasn't two-handing, that's why. Oh no! Oh shit. No, get away! Why would you spam cast that? See, he's weird. Oh, come here. I'm trying to get you with a good one. I know 
in my bones. A tarnished cannot become a lord. Not even you. A man cannot kill a god. Do you see a man around? <laughs> Alright, that was satisfying. Killing him with that felt fantastic, by the way. That, uh... The Inescapable Frenzy is one of my favorite spells in the entire game. No, I was hoping he'd be one of these ones that disappears and then that'd be cool. No such luck, though. And then I wonder, I wonder if Gideon's stuff appears in the round table hold where he stood. Like maybe some final thing that he was hiding or whatever. I kind of want to check. But uh, unlikely, but it'd be cool. All right. So now that we have taken care of Gideon, the all-blowing, finished him in style, too. I really didn't think it was going to finish him off. I figured I'd have to grab him at least twice to make that work, but guess not. I mean, I'm fine with that. That's not a complaint, but uh, I'm kind of surprised to see how much damage that did. It was kind of cool. All right, let's see. Use the hero rune so we can level up. Okay, 30,000, not 50,000. It's close, though. We should have just enough. Yep. Um, Health, why not? We're going to need it. Godfrey hits like a truck. So now... Hold on. Before I get carried away, let's just make sure there's no hidden items back where Gideon is. I wonder if Nephili has some kind of dialogue for us killing him. That'd be kind of cool. No, nothing. Well, just for old time's sake. Good luck fixing it now. Okay. So let's go back. Let me take a... Let me take a crack at... Godfrey. Let's see what we can do. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him on the first try. He's pretty damn tough. But we're going to do our damnedest. As we always do. So let's see what we can do. Against Godfrey. First Elden Lord. Hold on. Um, this is going to bother me. Let me see if we can get over here again. Just for the sake of doing it. What? Don't tell me they... Did they really... Did they really nerf that? Oh, dude. I think they did. I think they nerfed that. Do you see how suddenly we're sinking down now? That's kind of... Oh my goodness, I can't believe them. They really went petty with that shit. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> I was about to be mad. Now, I don't think you should technically be able to go over here in this version of the game. Like, or at least there wouldn't be any reason to. But, uh, well, okay, maybe not. We just kicked the ladder anyway. What about here? Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to do this at all, but... Yeah, 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 we're... We're just wasting time. Alright, fine. Damn it! Okay. So here goes. Godfrey is... Pretty tough, man. He is a tough cookie. But I think we can take him. 
Oh, is there another item up here for us? I know we have to reactivate the grace in here, but I think the looks like there's a respawned item. Before it was like Erd Tree's blessing or something, and now it's one Erd Tree heal. Okay, I'm all right with that. If we run into any revenants, we know what to do. All right. So this is going to be tough. Um, make sure I have the right stuff on. I suppose I could keep that on. Just in case we want to try to use the lightning spell. Well, no. We need fire. Definitely need fire. We're not going to need that. We are going to need... Probably extra damage from this. Hey, what? You can summon people? Whoa! I didn't know you could summon people for him. Dude. And he's supp Shabri is supposed to be dead. <laughs> Can I summon both? Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> I've never actually seen these before. I think it's because the events that I've done are so different in this playthrough. There, were, there was absolutely no one here on my original playthrough. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's get it, guys. Oh, what a cool cutscene. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. Alright, there's your first free shot against me, man. Alright, let's see what Taker's Flame does against this pal. Okay, that did pretty good. 3,000 damage, and that's with the bubble too. So the bubble, I have the opaline bubble tier, but then I also have that flask of physique that increases my uh, fire attack. So now we're gonna buff and kind of see what it does. Except I think they're about to get him to have health, which is, oop, which is, okay, so that did quite a bit of damage. Okay, yeah, we're doing all right. Or maybe he have to beat him. Okay, no, it's half health. I thought so. So the significance of the lion on his back is really cool because in the beginning of the game when we beat the Grafted Scion, we got that uh, golden great shield. And look, that he's taking physical form. Full. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh.
So he killed Sirash. I don't know what the significance of that is, though, because he's just going back to his tarnished state where I've he's Nephi's father. Courtesy enough. <sighs> now I fight just horror loo warrior Good Lord, and when he runs at you. Nightmare fuel. Jesus. Him running at me is like single scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I really hate it. Good lord. The hell? You asshole. Shit. Jump. Jump. All right. Ah! Shit! Get away! Damn, Tish is dead. Look, man. I'm trying to do something very particular here, <laughs> and I need you to stop. Okay, whatever. I got him. No! You will not. Let me get my FP back. And bop! Nope. Now you can roll these. It's not a big deal. I kind of prefer to jump them though because you're off the ground for longer, so therefore jumping gives you a slightly longer window, but. Is Shabriri using the. Whoa! Thy strength befits a crown. Damn. We did it, y'all. I have never summoned him before. I mean, we know he's basically the same, right? Like, he's he's essentially, from the very beginning of the game, he spawns right behind Agil, the first dragon that we kill. But, wow, man. I've never summoned him as Shabriri, though, and he he uses the, the madness. He uses the Frenzy Flame. That was sick, man. <laughs> never seen that. Oh, wait, hold on. Did we have an option? No. Okay. Can level up again, though. All right, so we can now officially get in there to fight Radagon, who was the last boss in the game, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to go check. Yes, I want to go check here, because we just killed her, like, birth father. So, or why, why did I say that? Um, I should say... Um, what's the word? I can't think lately, man. The lack of calories and stuff has given me, like, brain fog. Eating is important. That's my message to you. Um, I will remain, but your guy surely lie Oh, come on, man. We just we just killed your, like, For genetic child, father. You, <laughs> and you had nothing to say. <laughs> it's weird. All right. Um, we can do this, though. We're going to go back to the roundtable hold for just a second, because now... Not only can we get Horalu's equipment, but we can actually look at his remembrance to do this too. So he has this axe, right? It's a strength slash dexterity scaling weapon. 42 strength. It's got good base damage, man. 165 base damage, but it is heavy. It's a colossal weapon. And it's got the regal roar, so you do like the crazy stomps or whatever. It's pretty much like the attack you saw him using. And then Alexander also uses that, which is cool. But this here, the... Horlu's Earthshaker. I don't know why his hand on the ground looks like a chicken foot. Don't know why they did that. It's kind of funny. Makes me laugh every time. But this, I'm pretty sure this is the attack that Alexander uses when you fight him in uh, Crumbling Faramazula. So that's kind of cool. It's uh, I don't know, Ash of War. It doesn't have any requirements. It's just uh, usable on specific weapons. Um, all melee armaments, it says, but I don't think that's true. I think there's a couple that you cannot. There's exceptions. So, slam both hands on the ground to violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Follow up with an additional input to slam the ground again. Kind of cool. I don't think I need either of those, but... Yeah, man. Okay. 
So, wow. I didn't think we were going to blast through all of that so quick. I mean, it's... I suppose there's no reason we, we shouldn't go after Radagon and just end the game, right? We probably should just do it, but I'm thinking maybe not. <laughs> maybe maybe we can save that for one final episode. I think that might be appropriate. Um, I'm not going to max any of these weapons out. I don't think I want to, but this I kind of want to upgrade and use it just to see what we can do. But, well, so that's it. I don't think we have anything left, man. We have... Uh, one more level to gain, right? Yep, level 180. It's a good level to end, end the game at, I think. Damn, we did it. <laughs> um, shoo. This sword, man. This sword has just been unreal. Good lord. All right, so that's going to do it. For this episode, I think uh, the only thing we're going to have left to do is, I mean, unless unless I'm forgetting something, which I'm sure I'll remember at some point after this is over. But, uh, yeah, I guess the only thing we have left is the last boss in the game, and we can save that for next time. So, um, I think next episode what we'll do is we will we'll go straight into the boss fight, and then I will do some reflecting, maybe do like a review on this game, what I think could have been done better, or what I what I did or didn't like. I'll just give my final thoughts on Elden Ring after we do Radagon and the Elden Beast, because it's a super fun fight, it's really cinematic, it's incredibly difficult. God, Radagon is hard. Elden Beast isn't that hard. It's getting past Radagon to get to the Elden Beast fight, that's the annoying part. But, uh, yeah, man, this has been a hell of an adventure. Um... Didn't think we were going to get all this done today. I thought for sure we weren't going to do Gideon and Horolu and all that until tomorrow. But, uh, or not tomorrow, Wednesday. But, yeah. Shoo. Crazy to think we only have one episode left. Only one boss to go. But it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'll try to include, like, a final thoughts section on that so that it's not just, like, one boss fight and the video is over in 15 minutes or whatever. I'm not going to do you guys like that. It's still going to be a full-length video, and we're still going to we're still gonna look into some more stuff. And I'm going to have to choose what ending I want to do and stuff. So, yeah, look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and joining me on today's episode of the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for the final episode.